I was born in 1915 above my father's Chinese restaurant. And I knew very early that changes were needed in this world because the waiters in the restaurant used to say when I cried, leave her on the hillside to die, she's only a girl baby. And I've become a movement activist until I was in my mid-twenties. I was working for $10 a week in the philosophy library at the University of Chicago. Because in those days, even department stores would come right out and say, we don't hire Orientals. That led me to involvement in the March on Washington movement led by A. Philip Randolph, which was mobilizing tens of thousands of African Americans to march on Washington to demand the jobs and defense plans and has been a wonderful life, recognizing how important it is to maintain a vision of the future and to have an idea of revolution that is not so much seizure of power, but changing ourselves to become the change that we want to see in the world. To create programs and to say things that encourage those people who want to do something to become leaders is a fantastically rewarding and challenging opportunity.